Alrighty, you guys. Well, first of all, huge shout out to Cider, Urban Vibes, and Sean Mungo. Uh, you guys are awesome because you've already added some pretty crucial mods. And uh, I'm going to show the guys how to install these, how to make this work, because I struggled with it a little bit. So here is what happened to me, just so you know. So I went into, of course, the mods and I read everything like a good modder does. I look into the requirements and we click the link and we get to Bepanix 6.0. Now, according to his own description, download the latest da -da -da, 5.4 version and basically do not use Bepanix 6.0. And uh, yeah, your link is to... <laughs> Anyways, so it's it's a little bit cute. But we basically want to go to um, provide this link here github.com bepanix and uh, we want to go here because this home page gets you to the two things we really need at least yeah no we, we definitely need the configuration manager so before we can do anything with the mods and there's two different kinds okay so right now we have the hotkeys editor history blah, blah, these mods are being injected into the game through Bepanix. Whatever it does, I don't know. I'm not a modder. I'm not a computer guy. I just play the crap. <laughs> and um, Sean Mungo, on the other hand, he's added a mod the way that Astronauts does it. So, uh, what is it? Files? Mods, right? So, through the game, you go into here and astral adaptations is in here now the one thing you have to do with that I'm gonna to touch base on that right now you go into the loading order and uh, you have to add the name how do you know the name you go into the mod info and then the string name that is the uh, name that you want to copy you go into your loading order and uh, well yeah you should do the whole thing so with uh, hold on everything right and uh, you would copy and paste that under core this is what it's got to look like and then uh, you just save and you copy the files into the mod folder so astral adaptations as a folder Okay, go out of that. So we've done this. And by the way, if you don't have it yet, get yourself Notepad++. It's huge. I mean, I love it. I've used it for years. And uh, yeah, see, I always... <laughs> I cheat. <laughs> I love cheating. Uh, sometimes it's just necessary. So anyways, say we've installed the Astral Adaptations. Now we want to make these mods work. And we might as well start with Bepanix. So we go into Bepanix and uh, we go into the releases and we want 5423. That's the one that works right now with the mods. And then you would select whatever you have here. If you're if you're if you play on Apple, you go to hell. But if you're on Linux or Windows, there's the files you want. In my case, I downloaded the x64. So download that one and uh, we would go back back and then we would also download the configuration manager we need that for one of the mods and it's just good to have and we would get the file v18.3 zip download that while you're here in your browser now go ahead and always read the instructions but taken with a grain of salt apparently you do your manual download on all the mods and then here is what you should have so we've got the Bepanix the main file as well as the configuration manager then I downloaded the mods editor history speed hotkeys and floor and walls plus the astral editions so again astral editions drag and drop that whole folder unzip it into the mods folder of astronauts data so you're done with astral adaptations cool 
We'll go back to Astronauts game folder. So I, I download, downloaded it with uh, Steam. So here we are. Astronauts main folder. You can see the file in here already. But you open up the zip file. You take all the files and you drag and drop them into the uh, game folder. Now when you look in here, this is what's going to be in there. It just says core and then there's a couple files here. So this will not work for you yet. What has to happen is now that the folder is in the in the game folder, you start Astronauts. Once the game has started, now you're going to have a few more folders in here. And the important one is plugins. And you can see the mods are already in here. Now go into the configuration manager and either you drop the Bepanix as obvious folder into the game folder or you just go into it into the plugins and move the configuration manager into the plugins folder manually. As for the mods, there can be two different um, appearances. One is basically just the DLL. So you would take that and just drag and drop that into the plugins folder. License file is not part of the mod, it's just obviously a license agreement. But the floor and walls, for example, is the same setup as that configuration manager where you would just drag and drop that whole folder into the gaming folder where your exe is. But I don't like to do that. I like to know what's in there so that I can mess with it later. We go into the plugins, select the files, drag and drop. Done. Now a surefire way to tell whether or not the mods work is you hit F1. And that should bring up the um, well the configuration manager, and uh, we can go into we actually see so it lists the Bepanix itself. We can change some settings in that which I haven't, and then we have the editor history, so we can change how many entries there are. It's just default is ten. I put twelve. I just find myself always needing two extras, and then the speed hotkeys. The first thing you want to do is hit require control enable. You can change the keys here but you would have to look up the uh, numbers and I don't even find that necessary because I just basically use the uh, my pre-programmed keyboard and I can put any key I want there. But um, yeah I just use the require control and then it's uh, one, two, three, four, I haven't seen. Another thing is if you go into options now and controls. Like in my tutorial, you would now notice that we have two additional key settings here, and that is for the floor and wall visibility, K and G.